Hey everybody, Big Mike Mike here. Today I'm going to be adding to my Safe for Work gaming series by taking a look at a game called Ghost Ship. This one comes from the procedural death jam that's going on right now. It's a game jam. It has a couple different rules, one of them being that the levels need to be generated procedurally, meaning every time you play it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, the other rule is that there needs to be some form of permadeath in there. So again, uh, meaning if you die, you lose all your stuff and you start over from the very beginning. So the idea behind that being that mixing that permadeath with the procedural generation is going to avoid or, or get rid of the just go ahead and memorize the level so you can work your way through it because every time it's going to be different. So let's take a look at uh, Ghost Ship. And I do like this one too because it has support for the Xbox 360 controller which I am using. Alright, so I'm using X to attack. I'm just going to whirlwind through this whole thing. And A is to jump. So idea is you need to make your way to the bottom of this pirate ship and get the pirate treasure, whoops. And then make your way up to the top. So as you go, all the chests and crates and things are going to have stuff, nice, stuff in them. So kind of reminiscent of Spelunky, I guess, really, because it follows the same idea. Ooh, that was close. You really don't have to kill these skeletons if you don't want to. You can kind of just run through it, it looks like. But you want to get all the stuff. Dig the music. Skeletons kind of jamming along there. And the treasure. Wow, nice. All right, so there we go. So now we got the treasure chest. We got everything out of that, so now we need to make our way back up to the top. And the skeletons are back! <laughs> Look out! I like the skeletons kind of funky swagger they've got going on. I don't remember how to get out of here. There we go. Alright, so we're back here. Level 1, 4 kills, $2,500, 4,500 points. That sounds pretty good, right? I don't know. Level complete, press X for the next level. Let's try another one. Let's see how difficult this gets. It's gonna go fucking berserker on this round. Look out. Give it to me. Lou. Can I get it? Got him. The other one go. Stay out of my way, skeletons. Okay, now that's just giving me a headache. This level is definitely bigger than the first one. There's more going on here. Now can I get up there and get that stuff? Oh, come on, don't tell me I can't get that. Or am I just not jumping high enough? There we go. Can I look? Can't look down, so you're taking a chance when you fall like that. You gotta know, or just hold your breath and cross your fingers and go. This level's definitely a lot bigger than the first one. There's a lot more going on. Looks like I'm at the bottom of the ship. I just need to find the big treasure chest. Oh, damn it! So there you go. So now you can see I'm back to level one. Zero kills, zero dollars, zero points. So that's the whole <laughs> point of permadeath to piss you off. So, but yeah, I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to check out some of the other games that are coming up in the procedural death jam, see what other people are coming up with. As always, I will have links to the game uh, down in the description below and to the uh, death jam itself that's going on if you have any games that you want me to take a look at or play if you maybe you're a developer or just have a suggestion for something you want to see me play or give a shot put it down in the comments let me know i'll take a look at it and maybe i'll feature it in an uh, upcoming video so anyway uh thanks for stopping by thanks for taking some time to watch the video with me and see what i'm doing here uh, definitely, if you like what's going on, or even if you don't, hell, somebody else might like it, even if you don't. Tell somebody, and they can tell somebody, and they can tell somebody, and pretty soon, like I said, we got community go community going on here, and we can uh, keep
keep this thing going. So anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by and I will see you later.